Well, good morning. This is Hal Knox T wishing you a very pleasant morning. And, uh, well, you guessed it, YouTube took down my, not latest, but the one before that video. And uh, so I have had to uh, re-upload it on Rumble. And I've decided that what I'm going to do because of this, I'm going to make uh, one exclusive video per week. I'm going to post it to Rumble uh, to try and push my audience over a little bit towards the um, alternate tech sites. Because, you know, YouTube is just... Like they're paranoid of everything. Everything is, you know, fake news, misinformation, you name it. And when you watch this video, of course, you will see why they got, it, it didn't even touch the ground barely. I think it got 300 hits and then it was gone. And um, yeah, so you take a look at that video. It's, and it's a very, very important piece of information uh, because this is the crack in the dam that we have been waiting for. So I'm gonna link that video below in the description box so you can go straight over to my Rumble channel. And I'm hoping that you'll subscribe over there and um, like let's let's move away from these sites. Now, I've done this with um, other people who have basically given up on YouTube or have had too many videos taken down. And, and what I do is I've just uh, put them in my favorites. Uh, on, so when I open up my browser, I open up my favorites box and uh, I can go down and I just click straight on their channels on alternate tech, you know, rather than, you know, browsing on YouTube itself. Uh, and so it's just a change of habits. But one of the interesting things I'm finding now about social media and the way they are censoring certain things on video is it's actually a pretty good indication as to what is good information. Uh, if they think it's fake, it probably ain't because they have such a bias. And of course, uh, again, this, the information in this video is so stunning, so stunning. Um, wow, I can see why they would be scared to have this circulating at all. Now, the other thing I'm going to be doing is uh, watching the election this weekend. It is Sunday and the French election is taking place. Um, I hate to say it, but there there is a chance, a good chance that Macron will get a second term. Uh, however, these are strange times, and again, you can't believe anything that you are being told by mainstream media. Everything is rigged and jigged in such a way uh, that it makes you feel that you're on the back foot and they're well in the lead. And so, you know, you could have a come from behind, right out of the blue, win for Marine Le Pen, and that. That would be a game changer in France because uh, Marine Le Pen has said that she would have a Frexit, uh, and that would, de you know, that would destabilize the whole of the European idea, and also that she would uh, take more of a background seat in NATO. Okay, so France doing that, you know, basically uh, the three main countries in the EU are Germany, France, and. The UK and with the UK out if France were to leave Italy would be right behind I'll guarantee you and that would just start open the floodgates and when you see the mismanagement that's taking place across the world and this is another thing you know uh, whilst I'm talking on this video the things that are happening are just unbelievable all the food processing plants that seem to have caught fire just in the first five months of this year I mean we're talking about 20 plants have gone up in flames. Um, our whole uh, financial system is under stress from debt and inflation. Uh, supply chain shortages, uh, ships tied up off the coast of California, unable to unload. Um, ships waiting in uh, Shanghai can't load because they're in a lockdown over there. Um, and this is all happening at once, all happening at the same time. So. There's going to be lots to watch, lots to watch out for. Uh, this French election, this could be a game changer. And I will be fascinated to see the outcome. I'm hoping, I'm rooting for Marine Le Pen because Macron has already shown his true colors. This guy is a carbon copy of Trudeau, or maybe Trudeau is a carbon copy of him, but it is um, one of a young elitist uh, who is so filled with her own hubris and um, narcissistic nature, that they think that they are little emperors. And, you know, you don't ever want to fall under the whims of an emperor. And we've seen, look at what happened in Canada. Uh, frozen Bank Accounts, Emergency Measures Act, um, 
d uh, basically, you know, a, a, a forced uh, passport and mask wear, all this kind of, you know, yes. So, Macron, he's, he's not going to be any friend of the public. And of course, you know, Marine Le Pen is an unknown quantity. She's untested and we will have to see what the outcome of the election is. But I am waiting with bated breath and I will probably, I may do an exclusive on that because it is, um, yeah, it will be such a game changer, such a turning point in European politics. Okay, so please go to my Rumble channel, uh, check out the, the video that was taken down, very important information. And, um, Please like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, if you can, share on far and wide on Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, I, I really don't do a lot of Twitter, but if you can share on Twitter, that would be great. And in the meantime, this is Handog Steve signing off, wishing you a very pleasant morning, and uh, we'll talk very, very shortly. You take care now. See ya. Bye.